Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me picking my February TBR and I've been thinking about a fun way to do this. I don't want to get too crazy so I'm just gonna make a TBR jar. This is something that I've seen a lot of people do. If you haven't heard of it, basically the concept is you come up with a bunch of prompts. So I found just like a list of TBR prompts and then I added some of my own. And so I'm gonna cut all of these out and then I'm gonna put them in my jar and then we'll shake it up and pick out eight or 10 prompts. And then I will get to pick a book that goes with the prompt. I think it'll be a fun way to get some more books off of my physical TBR, which is one of my main goals this year. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. I post every single Wednesday. And all of my socials and my Goodreads are linked down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna start by cutting these up. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. There are some based on the author. So this one is like, read a book by an author who's less than 30 years old. Read a book by a male author, read a book by a female author. So we have some like that. We have some based on genre, fantasy, sci-fi, thriller. I have some prompts that are, pick a book that your friend suggests or have your mom pick a book out for you. I have one that's pick a book that's the highest rated on your physical TBR. I just posted a video last week, which was reading the books that are highest rated and lowest rated on my Goodreads TBR. So if you wanna watch that, it, I'll link it up in the cards. I have one that's like read a childhood favorite, do a reread, um, all sorts of things like that. So I am going to keep cutting these out and I will see you when I get them all in the jar. to a bigger jar because the jar that I had thought it was gonna fit in was too small. Um, I guess I have a lot of props. So I have them on here. I have my bookshelf right here. So I'm gonna try to pick most books off of my bookshelf. I also want to show you the books that I have that are on my like will likely read in February TBR and I'll explain. Um, the first one is my book club book for this month, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I'm not going to try to add it to any of the prompts, so book one on my February TBR. These next three books are all books that I currently have out of the library. I really want to read this. I've heard really good things about it. So there's this library book, this book, which is the next series to a universe that I just read a series in like earlier this month. So I have this one out of the library. If I find a prompt that goes with this one, I will try to pick it. Um, and then the other one is Of Time and Turtles by Cy Montgomery. This is a book on my top TBR for 2024 and I also got it out of the library. So I have my phone if I need to look anything up. I have my reading bullet journal. I have any prompts that are related to this. And then my bookshelf is right here. I wish I could face you towards the bookshelf. Unfortunately, it messes up the lighting because the window's right next to it. All right, I'm so excited. Okay, I think I'm gonna pick eight. And if I pick eight and I feel like they're, that I want more, then I'll pick two more. Um, another thing about TBRs is I just like to make these lists and if I don't read all the books on them, no worries. Um, but it's just fun to have something ready when I'm like ready to read a new book that I can just go and have one already ready to grab. So, all right. The first prompt is read a book that is a thriller. The two main goals I have in doing this is getting rid of books on my bookshelf, physical TBR, and getting rid of books on my top 24 books for 2024 list. The only thriller book I have on there is None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. So I think I am going to put this on my February TBR. If I have to return it to the library, I'll just renew it and hope that I can get it out again in February, but I've heard it's pretty quick, so I'm hoping I can maybe just start it and read it quickly, so. Okay, first book, book that is a thriller. Next one is a reread. Um, what's a book I've been wanting to reread? I was just thinking about one the other day. Okay, so the book I choose that's my reread is Psalm for the Wild Built. I read this book two and a half years ago almost. Fun fact, Elijah gave me this book on our first date and I read it really fast and I really, really loved it. But
but since then the second book has come out and in order to read the second book I really wanted to reread the first book so that I could get back into the world a little bit and really like digest it because there was a lot to this book that I think I didn't absorb because I was reading it so fast so this one should be really quick um hopefully I can use another prompt to pick this book but if not maybe I'll just add it to my list anyway so Psalm for the Wild Bill as my reread I'm super excited about that one it's such a good book if you guys haven't read it definitely put it on your list it's so 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 good book number three lowest rated book on bookshelf okay let me go into goodreads i have a bookshelf on goodreads that has all of my physical tbr on it so i will just quickly go in there and sort it the lowest rated book on my bookshelf that i haven't read yet is a book called salmon fishing in the yemen this is actually on my top tbr for 2024 um, my uncle got me this book for Christmas a couple years ago and he actually just texted me the other night saying that he read a book that I had lent him like a year ago which is one of my favorite books so I'll read a book he recommends. This is the next book. I'll go over the descriptions of all these books when we get to the final stack. So kind of getting with a little like green theme so far. Next one is read a book that is a memoir. I know exactly which book I'm picking for this because this has been on my list for way too long. This has been on easily like 80% of the TBRs that I've made in the past couple years. And I just have never gotten to it. I've tried to get it picked as a book club book, but not enough people voted for it. So this I've been told is phenomenal. And my friend read my copy, but I haven't read it yet. So I'm very much looking forward to hopefully getting to this book this month. Okay, that's four. I think I probably will do only eight because if I do ten then my stack will just be too big. This one is New York Times best-selling novel. I'm going to choose this book, The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride. I got this at the Barnes & Noble hardcover sale. It was Barnes & Noble's book of the year. This must be a New York Times bestseller because it was on the New York Times top ten books of the year list. This is one of those books that was on everybody's top books of 2023 list and I I love the cover, I love the concept of the story and I think it's going to be phenomenal. So this is going to be my New York Times bestseller. Read a book with a setting and a place you want to visit. This is such a fun idea. I know what I will use for this. The second book to Song for the Wild Built. This is in a lovely little sci-fi like universe where people are friends with robots if I can remember and I remember reading the first book and sort of having the like I want to go there feeling so that's how I will sneak this one in on my TBR I will use it for that prompt okay slay glad I got it in all right one two three four five six two more has the same word in it twice. Okay, so a title that has the same word in it twice. I feel like it's gonna be one that has the word the in it twice, that seems kind of lame. In the Time of the Butterflies by Julia Alvarez has the word the in it twice. And surprisingly, it's literally the only book on my bookshelf that has the word the in it twice. I was sure that there would be another one, but I'm gonna add this to my TBR. Okay, last one. Read a book by an author you've never read before. Okay, easy. I have a lot of books on my bookshelf that are by authors that I have not read before. I was gonna choose A Man Called O by Frederick Bachman, but I have read a book by Frederick Bachman before. It's like the most random small Christmas story. So I can't choose that one. Um, I have a lot of books on my bookshelf by authors that I have read before. However, I have not read anything by this author and this book is The Kite Runner, which is on my top TBR for this year. And I've had this copy for a while. I got it at a used bookstore, as you can tell by all of the tape. I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this book. So this will be on my TBR this month. Hopefully I do get to it because I've been wanting to read this for a while and I think it's gonna be a five-star book. Of the books I chose, one, two, three, four, five, six of them are on my top TBR for 2024 list and seven of the eight that I chose are books that are on my bookshelf so um, I'm really excited and I think these are all gonna be great books. This is my TBR for February. I'm gonna go through these quickly and talk a little bit about what each book is about. 
Um, I'll tell you which prompt I picked them with as a review. The first book on my list is called The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This was described to me as a fantasy sci-fi dystopian novel where there are three different storylines that sort of all come together. I prefer to go into fantasy books sort of blind. Um, I think it's more fun that way. I don't want anything spoiled for me. So that's all that I know about this book, but um, I'm going to have to read eight chapters of it for book club on Thursday. So I'm going to get into this soon, but um, I'm really excited about this one. And this one will definitely be in my, Feb in my February wrap up because I have to read it for book club. So the next one, which I chose for the prompt of a thriller, is None of This is True. From what I've heard, it's about a woman who interviews another woman for her podcast, but I guess everybody is lying. I've heard that this book reads in like a day, like it's super quick, fast paced. I probably will try to get the audiobook and listen to some of this because it seems like it'd be a fun book to listen to on audiobook. So this is the book for my thriller prompt. And then the next prompt was a reread. So I will be reading A Psalm for the Wild Built. Um, this book is about a person who decides that they need a new path in life and they go with their robot friend into the woods and become a tea monk. Everybody in this universe sort of has their own little career paths, but then there are also all these robots that are sort of like sentient and part of society. And they kind of go on this little journey together. It's very like cozy sci-fi fantasy and they just kind of contemplate the meaning of life so i'm very excited to reread this one this is the one that i chose for a book in a setting you want to visit um which is the next book to song for the wild build so i am anticipating both of these to be a five star i already know this is a five star i believe it will still hold up um but i think this one will be a five star too so i'm very excited to read both of these they are really small books as you can see so i think i'll read these really quick next one is the lowest rated book on your physical TBR, which is Salmon Fishing in the Yemen. It is about a scientist who becomes a part of this project to create a salmon river in Yemen. It looks like he has to swim there because of some British politicians. This book looks really cool. I'm just flipping through it and it looks like it's told in a bunch of different ways, like emails, diary entries, memos, um, I'm actually really excited to read this one. I think I had like a 3.7 average rating on Goodreads, which isn't too bad. So um, you'll have to wait till the end of the month to see my February wrap up. Um, but I definitely think I'll be getting to this book this month. I think it's going to be really good. And it's on my top TBR for this year. Next one was a memoir and I chose Crying in H Mart, which has been on my list for years. Um, I will also probably listen to part of this on audiobook, but it is Michelle Zahner's memoir. I think this is talking about her mom and her childhood and reckoning with those sort of things. So I've heard fantastic things about this. I think this will be a five star. The next book was a New York Times bestseller and I chose The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride. This is a historical fiction book about a small town in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, which is kind of close to where my mom grew up. I think that it's sort of like a small town family drama about community. I'm very excited about this one. This one's probably the longest book I have on this list but um i think it's gonna be really good so and the next book i chose was a book that had two of the same word in the title and so i chose in the time of the butterflies which was the only book on my list that i could choose this book seems to be about sisters growing up in the dominican republic during the dictatorship i think the way this story is told is sort of like weaving different threads together and i've heard that it's a really beautiful story and then the last book, which is a book by an author I've never read before, is The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini. This book is about a 12-year-old who's living in Afghanistan when the Russians invade and he has to flee to America. Um, he also really wants to be part of a kite fighting tournament. But I've heard this book is beautiful and devastating. Thank you guys for sticking all the way through this video. If you've made it all the way till this point, you definitely should subscribe and I would love to see you again this Sunday when I will be posting my January wrap up. Um, and if you've made it this long, you get the spoiler alert that I read 11 books this month. So I'm really excited to talk about them. Um, a couple five stars. So anyway, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. 
and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!